Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be showing you how you can customise the Finder in macOS. Now I'm going to show you how you can customise the sidebar in the Finder so it's more personalised to how you want to use it so it's easier and more efficient for you. So to do it, make sure you're clicked on the desktop so that Finder is displayed at the top in your menu bar next to the Apple logo. Then you're going to go to where it says Finder, go to the second option down which is Preferences. So if I click on that, I'll see that there are these four tabs here at the top. So I'm going to go through each one of them. So general here will give you options for showing items on the desktop. So I, you can choose some hard disks. So if I choose hard disks, it will show my Macintosh HD over here. So that's just my actual Macintosh hard drive. So I generally tend to have that switched off because it does tend to take up space on the desktop. But some people might like to have it there if you know they need frequent access to it. External disks. So this is probably something which a lot of people will keep on. I think it's on by default. And what this basically means is say if you plug in a USB drive or a external hard drive this will appear on your desktop so you can have quick access to it from there. CDs and DVDs and iPods so if you put a CD or DVD in or plug in an iPod then that will appear on the desktop as well and connected servers so this is if you use any servers which you connect your Mac up to then they will also appear on your desktop for quick access. You can choose what a new finder window shows now this is basically when you go to file and new finder window or when you click on the finder icon down here this option determines what appears so for me because I store everything that I ever use in my iCloud Drive I prefer it to launch straight to my iCloud Drive so it's all there instead of me having to navigate to it afterwards but you can choose whatever you want you can choose from your home folder that's a common one if, if you're a Windows user who switch to the Mac you'll probably want it on your home folder which is where you'll see all your different folders so your documents music pictures movies that sort of thing all in front of you I think that's how it is on Windows so you might want to keep it like that or you can have it via your desktop or your documents or all my files so whatever you want you've got an option there for that and you can choose to open folders and tabs instead of new windows so if you want to keep your Mac desktop less cluttered up then you can have tabs instead of windows generally what I tend to do next up we've got tags so this is where you can manage all your different finder tags if you use those. If you don't use them then these won't really um, be all that important for you at the moment. But I've got a few tags here. I can add one by just clicking here and then I can name it. If I want to let me just get rid of it. So if I just click on it and hit the minus that gets rid of it. If I hit delete tag that will get rid of it. You can choose which ones are shown in the finder sidebar. Next we've got the sidebar options. So these are the, this is the main panel for that. You can choose what's displayed in your finder sidebar. So you can have all your files you can have all these different options I've got all of them ticked at the moment but say if you don't tend to view videos on your Mac you might want to untick movies so that doesn't appear anymore I'll keep it ticked for now uh, you can choose all the different options for iCloud so you can show your iCloud drive you can have your desktop there and documents there so that you're quick access to those this is where you can view quick access to your shared documents in your shared servers in the finder so you can have your back to my Mac, any connected servers or your bonjour computers. So if you want to choose any of those, you can have those there. And then you can choose your devices. So you can have your iMac, which is basically just your entire computer's sort of similar to the C drive on the on Windows. Uh, you've got your hard disks, which is just that option which I showed you earlier. So it shows you all everything on your Mac. You can also choose obviously your external disks, so USBs, uh, external hard drives, that sort of thing that's plugged into your Mac. And again, CDs, DVDs, and iPods if you want quick access to them in your Finder sidebar. So finally, we've got here, we've got recent tags. So these will just show your recent tags in the sidebar of Finder, so you can have quick access to those. If we go to advanced, finally, we've got show all file name extension. So after every single name of a document, say, in the Finder, it will say dot .pages if it's a pager document. Or if you're working with videos, it will say dot .mp4. So you can just see what file type it is. I keep that off just to make keep it cleaner, but you can have that on if you want. You can show warning before changing an extension. So if you decide to change the file type, say you want to change it from a dot .doc document, which you'd usually open in Word, maybe you want to change it to dot .pages, it will just warn you, are you sure you want to change this before? So just uh, avoiding any accidental changes of file types, which obviously as you know can lead to damaged files you can show warning before removing from iCloud Drive so if you delete something that's in iCloud Drive you'll just get a little pop-up saying are you sure you want to do that so again just an extra security measure same here with 
before emptying the trash so before you empty the trash it will ask you are you sure you want to do it so just making sure you are actually wanting to do it instead of accidentally doing it and you can choose to remove items from the trash after 30 days so if you're running low on space then this is a great feature to sort of prevent items from building up in the trash and you can choose to keep folders on top when sorting by name so if you want that option then you have that there and when performing a search you can either choose it to search the current folder search your entire Mac or you can use the previous search scope so whatever you chose previously I tend to keep on current folder because if I want to use my search my entire Mac I'll just use spotlight search I don't require to search my entire Mac when I'm using the built-in finder search but anyway that's it for the how you can customize your Mac finder experience it's very simple and I find that many people don't actually do this when they get their Mac and it turns out that if they did it, it'd be a lot easier for them to navigate and use it, especially if you're a switcher from Windows and you're used to a lot of those different categories being in your sidebar for you to access frequently. This is a great way to go ahead and customize it and make it work better for you. But that's it for this video. If you've got any questions or comments, then do leave them in the comments section of this video. You can also get in contact with me using the details that are in the description of this video. Also, do like this video if you enjoyed it, and you can subscribe by hitting the logo that's on the screen right now. Please also consider checking the videos either side of the logo. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.